Hello Slave Mates, it's me, I Kenisha, your favorite beauty consultant, and this was supposed to have been connected to the last video. If you have not watched my last video, make sure you do so. The link will be in the description box as well as linked up here, maybe, because I haven't been linking videos up here in a long time. But anyway, so I decided to um, make this week about inventory, orders, photography, all that stuff. So I got in some boxes of handbags and I decided to unbox some of them with you all on camera and then show you all how I do my flat lay. So as you can see, I'm sitting on my fur rug. Um, the tripod is actually sitting on top of my wood flooring that I use. So we're going to unbox a few handbags. I just put like five in here. Um, I have not opened them. The only thing I did was take the plastic off so that way it wouldn't be all noisy on camera. I don't know why my hair is doing this like okay um yeah so we're gonna unbox those i literally just took the plastic off like you know this stuff i don't want to make that noise on camera so i haven't seen them so you'll see my reaction for the first time and then i'm going to pair some of them with some of my hats when i do my flat lace because i want to sell some of the fedoras even though a lot of them that you see behind me are sold i just haven't packed them because I don't have any more boxes um the video that i did i actually show you all when i'm packing this little bit of stuff right here uh, i didn't pack a lot because i didn't want to make a long video number one and then number two i didn't have enough boxes <laughs> i didn't realize that i only had two boxes left so i gotta go get a ton more boxes because i have a lot more hats to send off got those some over there so yeah all right so this intro was long enough y'all i'm so sorry all right so let's get into it oh and by the way if you want to know who this vendor is, you have to be a member of my membership. Um, I'm not going to give this vendor out to just any and everybody because this is a vendor I have been using for three years. I love this vendor. There are times where I just don't want to give out my vendor. So I might give it out, but if I do, it will be in the membership. It will not be here on YouTube. So let's go. So here's the first one. I said I wasn't going to get any basketball handbags, but I think they're just so... I don't know, I just kind of, I don't know. But then I saw these and I was like, mm, maybe I'll get some. So, ooh. I'm going to have to get more. I'll make sure I keep one for myself. So, here we go. Let you all see it. This is Gorge. I like it. And just so y'all know, anytime y'all ever want to shop my boutique, Link is always in the description box. There's always a code for y'all to use. It never expires and you can use it even on clearance. So make sure y'all go in the description box, click on the link to shop my boutique and use your YouTube um, discount. So I don't want to take these off because I like leaving that on for people. I'm going to have to cut this off because I want to put my hang tag on my handbag. I'm going to leave that there though so people know that this is lead safe and vegan so i'll take i'll tear this one off and put that one on so yeah let's see i can't open it open it because i don't want to take this off i like leaving the handles connected for people so there we go it's a little small in the inside but i mean it's, it's a ball so i mean you ain't gonna be taking a whole bunch of stuff in here. but very good quality all of my handbags are always great quality kind of feels like a ball like it is serious y'all i love this so this is one color i got another color i think the other one's gonna be white or something so this is like the black one i guess so okay i love that one yep it's white so here's the other one. Oh, this is so cute Excuse me, y'all. Sorry. This one looks like it is deformed. Not sure what happened. I'm going to have to call them. I don't know if it's because of how it was shipped or what. See how, like, y'all might not can see it, but I can see it. It looks uneven or something right here. Like, look right there. You can't tell on camera. I can see it, though. This one does. Um, but they are really good at, like, if you send them a picture of something that is messed up, they will send you another one. They will quickly send you your money back. So, I'm not stressing this. And even so, I could just keep this one for myself. 
I like it. You see, y'all see the colors? So it's like white, and this is like the lighter version of the one I just showed. Pretty cool. I need to turn this TV off. I feel like the TV is messing with the light in this video. Okay. Let's see what else. And I always keep my the dust bags because, you know, you don't want to send out your handbags and no dust bags. So I always keep these. I want to get something of branding. That would be amazing. All right. So just so y'all know, too, I did a lot of graffiti shopping this uh, particular time. So a lot of stuff is going to have graffiti on it. But this one has graffiti. I can already see. Yep. Oh, I love this. There's a shirt that I'm going to be ordering during my next inventory that's the same color. This is super cute. So it's like, a, it's not a mini bag. It's the size before me. So this is super cute. Let's see if it has a chain with it. I hear one. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Has a strap for chain. I'm not gonna open it. So has that up there and it's a chain cute all right now I don't need to keep one of these for myself but oh I just love the quality of their stuff like I wish you all could really see this quality like you can't there we go you can see a little bit of that detail that lighting just messed up real quick for me putting that close <laughs> let's put this back all right the next one's gonna be similar but i think it was snake print if i'm not mistaken yep snake skin pretty this is gorgeous you all know the snake print has been trending lately especially this multicolor so this is super cute too love 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 y'all this vendor does not disappoint so, like I said, if you want to know who this vendor is, got to join my membership. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I'm going to give it to my dollar members or my $8 and up members. It might just go to the $8 and up because, like I said, this isn't a vendor that I share with everybody. Even though you can find a lot of these bags on Fashion Go, you just have to know what handbag vendor to go to on Fashion Go. Because this vendor isn't on Fashion Go. Oh man, I hate when they give me bags and they're not in a dust bag. Oh well. I don't even remember ordering this one. This is very heavy. Y'all, this, this quality is bomb. This, dang, this is heavy. If I didn't, and it has the, look at, if I didn't know anybody else, this is this was some kind of like real Prada bag or something. Like, okay, I have, um, you're on, the tripod is on the, hard floor I don't know if you can hear it so let's see but you know normally when it's, when it's in that when it is an expensive bag when a little teeth hit a table or something you can hear it so let's see what we hear yeah this is a great bag oh my gosh I don't need to keep all these bags for myself <laughs> this is nice so it's a mustard color I don't know if it's coming off that way on camera mustard color it does have Oh, that's a hang. Okay, we have to open it. It has a bat zip there, the teeth there at the bottom, or whatever they're called, those little pigs. The inside is very nice. Here's the strap for it. So you could do you can hold it either way. This is nice. And the inside is really nice. You have the different compartments, the zipper part, all of that that in here for your cell phone this is great i don't know what i'm going to price these at yet because i haven't looked at my invoice to see how much i paid for all of them um, but these are the only styles that i got so i got five different ones and multiple ones in each style obviously or color or whatever you want to say um i only got a couple of these because i want to see how they look first i'll probably get this in another color black this one and make hopefully they have burgundy I probably keep a burgundy for myself. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna take some photos 
of the bags flat on my wood flooring. Um, let's maybe start off with this white basketball one. And I'll pair it with one of the red hats. Yeah. Green. Ooh, that'd be cute. Pink. Yellow, yellow. That's red. Alright, so I could do red with this one. I'll do black and pink maybe with that one or black and green with that one. And then, yeah, and then I'll do black and pink or hmm, black and pink with that one. And maybe a plain black with the, that one. We'll see. Alright, so hold on tight. Okay, so um, I just moved my tripod and stuff. And so what we're gonna do, I'm going to show you um, like when I'm setting up flat lays and kind of explain what I'm doing. So you're not gonna see me anymore. You're just gonna see like my flooring and the fur rug. So, okay, so I put this one on the floor first. So as you can see, there's my wood flooring underneath my fur rug. I put the basketball and hat like this. So I think it's pretty cool. So. I'm actually going to be taking photos as I am recording because my phone can do that. Um, I have a Samsung Note 10, so if I get quiet for a second, it's because I'm taking photos. Make sure you take different angles. Even though it's flat, it doesn't mean you can't do different angles, but you have to know angles. So I'm going to actually show you all at the end of this video what the photos end up looking like. Try not to get my stuff in the background. <clears throat> get a close up of that. And you can see the hat. I'm trying to get it. Oh, so you don't see my background. Okay, cool. All right, so we just move the hat and take another one. I'm actually gonna stand up higher. This is gonna be for Instagram, so gotta make sure I can crop it to a square. I'm gonna move over this way so that way I can crop more out. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna do, uh, I think I'm gonna put both the basketballs in there and then we'll come back. Okay, so I kept trying, I kept trying to, uh, like, um, put them down, but it didn't work because they're so round. <laughs> so I realized that I could just put my fur rug against my couch and make it look like, you know, a background. So that is what I'm doing, and I'm going to take photos of these. So let's see how that works out, because, yeah, it didn't look right. <laughs> So we're gonna get up higher. I hate that I have that plastic on these, but like I said, I don't like taking the plastic off. And I'm gonna get close-ups. Okay, so we'll see what those look like. And then we can set a, uh, we can set a hat down in front of them. I'll maybe put the red one. That's the back of the hat. <laughs> so I'll put that down here. That looks crazy. So let's back on up. And I can crop it. Let's see how far back I need to go. There we go. And I'll come up from the top, which I don't like, but it is what it is. I might figure out a different angle or way to crop it. We'll see how that looks. Okay, so done with that one. Let's now do the little one. Let's see what happens. Okay, I don't know why everything's out of focus. Can we get in focus, please? What the heck? 
Hold on, y'all. Okay, I don't know what was going on with that focus. Sheesh. Okay, so here's the um snake skin one. I don't like how this hat looks. Can we let's see if I can move it up maybe? Hmm. I don't like that. I don't like it. Uh, I loved it together. I just don't like how the hat is. I might have to just do it flat. I didn't want to do it flat. I have to just lay it. Let's see. Sorry. I keep forgetting I'm recording. <laughs> That's kind of cute. We'll do that for now. Let's see how that looks. So let me go up, up, up so I can crop. Always remember, when you are taking photos of your models or products, always remember that you will be using something for Instagram. So make sure that you are taking photos that will be easily cropped into a square. So that way you're not getting, um, you know, getting things cut out. Oh, the dang plastic's in the way, so that's not going to be a good photo. Dang it. Okay, so I'm going to actually, oh, so I, just so I can tell you all too, I decided to take more photos while I have my rug like this against my couch. And then I'm going to take some flat ones with the rug as well. So yeah, I'm going to finish doing it with this. And then I'm going to put the rug back on the wood flooring and do it that way. Oh, I wonder, I wonder how it would look if I put like my box in the background. Or one of my packages in the background and you see like my it's kind of cute but being it is wrinkled it doesn't look as good I'm gonna take the photo and just see what happens when I play with it so I'm gonna take that and then I want to see what it will look like with my box behind it I'll do that when I put the items back on the wood flooring yeah okay so let's move this and let's move that i don't know what color hat to do with this bag i mean i gotta take this off so give me a minute all right so i decided to do the uh, black hat with the red underneath because it says bloody and i mean these words up here are kind of freaky like they're saying but what if? So I'm going to take it in this angle right here. Let me back it up some and then I can crop it the way I want it to look. I think that's going to be cute. I hate that this is so crooked, but I can't get it to sit the way I want it to sit. I think because it was sitting in, hold on. Let's see. Y'all are going to see the fur rug for a second. Yeah, that still didn't work. Whatever. Ugh. Okay, the focus is gone again. Come on, focus. Why is it doing this? Lord Jesus. Okay, give me a second, y'all. Okay, so that looks a little better, but whatever. All right, so I'm going to come all the way back so I can crop it. Let's take this picture. I'm going to get closer and take a picture. That can still be in a square. This fur is in the way. Come on, fur. You won't let me be great. Where did you come from? Let's do that again. That looks better. Man, let's do this angle. I like this angle better. And I'm get closer. So you can see the detail. That's way better. Now you can see that detail I was talking about. All right. So now I'm going to do flat lays with these because I know exactly how I want the flat lays to look. So let's do those. And then um, I will let you all see how the photos turn out. Okay, so I got this and then I'm just realizing, hey, the bat, the bats, the boxes aren't flat. But these boxes have been packed with people's hats. So I kind of don't want to turn them. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do. But anyway, this flat comes, you know, it turns out really, it's going to turn out really good. So let me move this stuff. And always remember, once again, I've told you all this several times, but when you are taking flat lay photos, Please stand up really, oh, I almost fell. Please stand up really high. I normally stand up on a chair, which I'm about to do now. So let me grab one of my stools so I can stand up higher. So I'm standing up higher on my stool. And remember that the wider your angle or your items are, 
then the higher up you need to stand so that way you can crop. And I'm just realizing I still got these stupid boxes in the photo. So let me change that. Ooh, I just showed y'all my feet. I'm going to still do this angle, though, because I like this. Let's see. And then I'll crop it later to so see how I want it to look and see Pyro's, Pyro's chair leg. <clears throat> I don't think that's going to be cute because I'll just have different things in there. I'm going to figure this out. Y'all know I'm super creative. Okay, so anyway, like I've told y'all before, make sure you are... Oh, dang, I forgot to take a standing up one of that, uh, the big bag. Oh, well. All right, so if you all don't know how I got my boxes to be branded, please make sure you watch the very last video, or you can actually watch, uh, it's a video on my Instagram Reels where you'll see me make the boxes and that's what I'm doing in the real. I'm literally showing you how I make my own branded boxes. Very similar to the way I showed you all how to make your own branded bags. Uh, if you have bubble mailers or white bubble mailers, um, I showed you all how to do that in a video. I can't remember which video. If I figure it out, I'll link it down below. But yeah, go to my Instagram at royal underscore aries 325. If you're not following me already, I don't know what's wrong with you. I give out amazing like seriously amazing tips i tell you all things a lot of people are not telling you all about the boutique business i let you all know how my businesses are going and you know very transparent very honest very straightforward you ask me questions i'm going to tell you the answer you know i don't sugarcoat stuff okay so i'm going to take a photo or some photos of the big bag because i totally forgot about it and what hat could i do with that bag i got several different hats i think i could do with that i don't know why my hair won't sit down like it's ridiculous Jesus, and I actually just cut it. Can y'all tell? It's like way shorter. So it's shorter in the back, a little bit longer in the front and on the sides, whatever. Yeah. All right, so let's get to the next bag or the last bag, and then you all can see photos. All right, so I really didn't want to do red again, but I had no choice. I did a bunch of different color combinations uh, off camera, and I really did not like any of them so I ended up doing the red because this looks expensive this is looks you know what I'm saying so I did the red hat with the red uh Tory Burch belt uh this bracelet I'm about to start selling jewelry again so I did that bracelet with it and the hat so we're gonna take this photo <clears throat> and I'm gonna turn this way oops I didn't even mean to take that like that um, I'm do some close ups here. And let me get this bracelet. My shadow is in this, but it's okay, I can figure that out. It looks stupid. It looks stupid. And that looks stupid too. <laughs> I really need to take one of this bag standing up because it looks better. So I probably won't use many of these. I'll probably end up doing them standing up. But all right, so y'all are gonna see photos now. And yeah. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. The next video you all see will be of me taking photos of my model, my Kirby model, as well as how I take photos of myself. And I'll be explaining afterwards, you know, how to do that. All right, so get ready for some photos. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, you guys. Bye.